Hi, hello and welcome back to Civilization 5. So, as a result of the vote from the previous episode, we'll be restarting to get a slightly more interesting game. I will use mostly the same exact setup, including adding Bram control face and Gandhi to the game, but I'm going with Fractal Map. That should create more than enough landmass, but also enough oceans to allow some naval combat. And I also installed the newest build, which was released like less than 12 hours ago when I'm recording this. It's not save game compatible, which is yet another reason to restart. And it has some pretty interesting naval combat changes, which I'm definitely looking forward to. So that's what we're going with. Fractal map, standard map size, standard game pace. I will disable the event system. And that's that. So, let's get started, shall we? To cities. So, let's take a look. We got a bit of a jungle, not sure if I like that. And some citrus in the area. Citrus isn't too bad, because we can get science from the Monopoly bonus. Yeah, alright, let's settle on spot. Sure. Production might be a bit of a problem early on. But I guess we'll see about that. Would be nice to get that citrus as soon as possible, that's a nice style. Anyway, let's start from a pathfinder, and then shrine and monument. I'll want a religion, so we definitely need a shrine ASAP. And we'll grab animal husbandry first, to reveal horses, sheep and cattle. So, let's go explore, shall we? And find some neighbors. We got a city-state. That's a lot of citrus around here. All right. I guess that means we're pretty much guaranteed the Monopoly bonus. So, let's go and explore. Here's the first ruin. And some truffles. And wheat on a floodplain. We got... wait, what is that supposed to be? Oh yeah, culture. 15 culture, all right. I'll take it. Up to free population. We need our border to expand ASAP. I want that citrus. So, let's go find some more ruins, shall we? Here's another one. No neighbor yet. That's probably a good thing. More citrus. 30 production. Nice. That will speed up the shrine. Very nice. And Ram is our neighbor from the looks of it. I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> I did add him to the game manually, so... I'm not surprised at all. Alright, let's actually get Trail Blazer to speed up the movement. And here's another ruin. What did we get? Population. No, additional land. That's not too bad. Yeah, we can work way better tiles as a result. Yeah, that was actually quite nice, I have to say. We can speed up the city growth, yep, let's do that. And explore some more. This is a pretty nice start so far. Let's see where our neighbor actually is. Here's another city-state, maritime city-state. Okay then. Oh, here's Ram, to our south. Okay. That probably means we should settle our second city to the south. And we also got Arabia. Arabia actually got nerfed in the build that I'm using. Slightly. So, let's grab survivalism on this guy. And I could actually steal a worker from Ram. That is very, very tempting. Crippling him early on would definitely be a good idea. I don't even care about stealing a worker, but I want him to lose a worker. Alright, let's do it. Here, that's mine now, thanks. Here's another ruin. Nice, we got upgraded to a scout. That will be quite useful, actually. Because a scout is a pretty strong unit, this early on. Anyway, next up, probably pottery, so that we can get a settler. Or archery, I mean trapping, to unlock the archer. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could go and harass Ram a little bit. I will mostly be building vultures, because that's our unique unit. But I'll want at least an archer or two. 
Especially if we go after his cities. I will not be going after his actual capital, because capital cities are very hard to take in Vox Populi. But if he starts a second city somewhere, we could go after that. We'll see. So, two more turns to finish the monument. And we might want to escort the worker. Yep, probably. Alright, let's go back south. And we got the vulture queued up. So, we'll get a vulture or two and then a settler. Maybe one vulture, then a settler, and then more vultures. That seems reasonable. Alright, let's see if we can maybe kill that Pathfinder. Or at least make him run away. We can do some damage with our scout. We might be able to kill him. Although, might be a little bit hard. We could try to use the worker as bait. That might actually work. Although, it seems a little bit risky. Let's not do that. We'll try to kill him. Should be doable. So we can pick up survivalism too. Yep. Okay, I think we can get him. Not just yet, but it should be doable. He can't run too far. Let's go get him. We got Trailblazer, which means we'll be moving faster. I think he's going to die right now. Flanking bonus? He's dead. Nice one. Okay then, so now he won't be able to upgrade him to a scout through a ruin or something like that. Scouts can be really annoying to deal with early on. Especially with survivalism and such. So, grab a farm. We'll finish the vulture. And then we can go harass his capital. We can pillage some of his improvements. Okay then, so one turn. And we'll start a settler. Right away. Oh yeah, first we need pottery, I suppose. So how about one more vulture? Or we can get a worker, because this guy will be pretty slow for a while. Here's trapping. And we'll pick up... Drill. It will be more useful in the long run, especially if we end up going after some cities. Right, so worker or vulture? I think I prefer vulture. We'll need a bigger military. Especially if we want to fight Ram early on. Not to mention it's our unique unit, so we should get as many as possible. And I think I'll be going for tradition, because that's what I started the previous game with. And I'd like to do a game with tradition. But with this start, both progress and authority would be viable. We could go for authority, I suppose. If you want to stay at war, then this would probably be a better choice right now. Not to mention we could gain culture when killing units. And we would get some extra production in our cities. It's actually quite tempting to go for authority. Okay, you know what? Let's go for authority. Alright then, so now we should definitely harass Ram. No question about that. Alright, let's go. I will also send the scout, although I also want to explore a little bit more. Let's go explore. The other vulture will be done soon. Venice is in the game. Okay, so that's probably a pretty easy target. Here's the city state. Oh, we got a natural wonder. A pretty damn good one too, and it's super close to us. Okay then. I definitely want that before Ram settles it. If he settles the wonder, we will be capturing that city. No question about that. And now we can grab a Pantheon. If we are going to stay at war, it might not be a bad idea to pick up God of War, because then we would gain faith from killing military units. And we are already going to gain faith, I mean, we are already going to gain culture for killing enemy units, because we went for authority. It's not a bad idea, I think I'll grab that. It's such a strong Pantheon, not to mention the 50% increase 
in city ranged combat strength, that's pretty damn strong, and plus 10% production towards units. It's just a really good pantheon overall, let's grab that. It's just the best option in our current situation. Alright, and let's kill some units. I'm going to send the scout back. We could use him against these guys. Other vulture is almost done. There he is. So let's take shock on this guy to do more damage. And let's play carefully here. I don't want to lose units. So how about we back up to be out of range of that archer. Yep, sounds good to me. And next up, let's get one more vulture and then we'll get a settler. We need to have a military advantage. And he can pillage some improvements around his capital. So let him come a little bit closer and then we can move in. He doesn't want to move any closer, alright. Here we got pottery, now we can queue up the settler. Alright, well, this could be a little bit tricky. I can't kill the archer just yet. If I move closer he will get some attacks off, but that's kind of hard to avoid. We can use the pathfinder as bait and scout on the side. As for our research, we don't really need mining just yet. Let's grab the wheel. That will reveal bananas and we might have some and it will also unlock the council, which we could certainly use. Now let's try to kill some units, shall we? Might be a little bit tricky, but should be doable. Just need to be aggressive enough. I will use the pathfinder. He is a little bit squishy, but he can take some damage. Not to mention we can use him to flank the enemies. Alright, let's follow that archer. That's not quite enough to kill him. No, it's enough to kill him, nice. We got 14 faith and 7 culture, not bad. Shock, because we will mostly be fighting enemy units. Again, unless he starts a city, we'll see about that. So now we will get the settler and grab that wonder. That is such a good wonder. Alright, next. Oh, come on, Arabia settled it. Well then, you know who we will be attacking? Arabia. There's no way I'm going to let them keep it. Just no, it's not happening. He can forget about that. But we can't peace out with Ram just yet, so let's fight a little bit longer. This guy will have to be an escort for our settler. Where do we want our city? We got some horses to the north. Would be worth grabbing them. I don't think that should be a priority, but this would be a nice city on that hill. I'm thinking somewhere around here. That way we would also have a border closer to Ram which means we would be able to heal our units faster. Not to mention he might settle this if we give him a chance to. So yep, that's what we're going for. Here's a unit we can probably kill. Not yet. He's too far away. Alright. We'll catch him, don't worry. Back up a bit. And let that warrior come a little bit closer. We can actually use the Pathfinder to escort the Settler. It's mostly to prevent one single unit from capturing the Settler. That would be pretty bad. I still can't kill him, but he can't run away from me. No, not really, he can't. Alright, let's move in. Slightly more aggressively, maybe. We need more unit kills to get faith and culture. So we will definitely kill the warrior now with our scout. So that's 7 culture, 14 fate. And let's go after that archer. Just need to be careful. We'll heal up the vulture. We finished the farm, good. What should be next? We are going to need calendar. We need calendar for the ziggurat anyway. So I guess that's going to be our next research. Yep. 
And I would still like to pillage a few tiles, so let's maybe do that. He wants to peace out. I don't want that just yet. Let's at least pillage a few tiles around his capital, and then we can maybe go for Medina. But we'll need at least another archer or two to take Medina. What's next? Do we go for Tribute or Dominance? If we go for Tribute, we will then be able to get a Settler for free. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit better. Not to mention we'll get gold and food when our borders expand. On the other hand, if we go for Dominance, we'll get Science for killing enemy units. So, that's not bad either. Not to mention our units will heal after killing enemy units. This might be better right now. Yeah, I'm actually leaning towards that one. If we can kill some units. That's a pretty big if right now. But barbarians also count. We could just kill this dude. I'm sure we can kill the archer. Not on this turn, but we can definitely do it. It's a tough call. I do like Tribute. Yeah, I think Tribute will be better. As much as I like the idea of getting Science for kills. It won't be that much Science just yet, and we'll get that policy soon enough. Sounds good to me. So, Settler is almost done. We got a promotion. A survivalism too. Yep. Although, we would be moving way faster with Trailblazer. Desert and snow. There is a fair bit of desert. Probably not enough to justify picking this up. Let's go for survivalism. Alright then. Let's see. I still want to kill some units. But easier said than done when he's around his capital. Let's heal up some more and maybe they will move towards us. I need them to move towards us. Here's Ram's city. That's probably fine. And we got some bananas in range. Very nice. So our city should go somewhere around here. We can get the truffles, we can get the gold. Definitely a good idea. So that's what we're doing. And next up we'll grab a council. Because science. Sounds good to me. So about that archer. I still need him to come a little bit closer. We could also probably peace out at this point because I do want to go after Arabia. That has not changed at all. We definitely won't be taking his city. I can tell you as much, at least not yet. We can get some extra experience. We are almost at level 3. Need two more experience. Okay, let's see if we can get some gold from him. Maximum value 10? Yeah, okay. We can get a grand total of 10 gold. That's not a whole lot, to be honest. That's a little bit disappointing. But I want to go after Medina. That city shouldn't be too hard to take. But we will likely need at least one archer. Alright. How about that warrior? No, we can't kill him. Oh, hi. That's bad news. I think we'll be okay. We got 32 health. We should be fine. And hey, that's a unit we can kill. So, works for me. Let's peace out. I'll take 11 gold. It's not a lot, but whatever. It's better than nothing. It's technically 5 turns of our income. We could also pay to speed up the council. Let's maybe do that. We'll finish it on the next turn and then start working on the archer. Speaking of archers, how about this fella? We can kill him. Not just yet, but definitely on the next turn. Drill toe, that will be quite useful. And move away from that archer. 
So, where exactly do we want this city? I'm thinking over here. Then we could get the truffles. And we would also have wheat to the west. And we would have the cattle in our range right away. Yeah, I think this is going to be the best location. Seems like it. That's what we're going with. Now, about that archer. I can't quite kill him. Slightly annoying. But I want that faith and culture, so let's follow him. And that's going to be our city. We'll work the truffles right away. That is such a nice style. And let's grab a shrine. Because I'll want a religion. I would normally open with a monument, most likely. But we need the religion. Up to 6 population. We'll also need another worker sometime soon. But right now, I'm mostly concerned about Medina. Oh, the city-state killed the barbarian archer. Seriously? That was my culture and faith. How rude. Alright, whatever. Okay, so one or two archers. We need to hurry up before he researches and builds city walls. Because that will be bad if he manages to do that. Right now it's pretty easy to take it. Especially if we heal back to full, which we certainly will. Free population already. Alright, it might be a good idea to buy the truffles. Because otherwise, Ramcam Trollface might steal them. And it's a very nice style to work. I think I'm going to grab it. Here, it's worth it. Good enough. Carry on. I might also do the same with the gold. Uh, well, no, not really. Never mind. We need that monument, I guess. Let's go explore. The Pathfinder will not be very useful in combat. But the scout will be. We'll wait for the archer and for full health. We wouldn't need five more turns to get another archer. Yeah, I will feel much more confident if we get two archers. So let's maybe do that. Barbarians. If Arabia hits the Barbarian, I might get a chance to kill him myself. We'll see about that. Let's find out. Yeah, I think we can kill him ourselves. Nice. There we go. That was 7 culture, 14 fate, 25 culture. Nice. So, Medina. There's our archer. 4 turns for another one. Surely this is going to be enough to take Medina. If it stays at 5 combat strength, it's definitely going to be enough. I wonder if we could maybe convince Ram to join the war with us. <laughs> Probably not, but hey, you never know. Let's move a little bit closer. I don't see any units, that's a good sign. Okay. So, next up, we can pick up Imperium and that will give us a settler. Then we can send him here, for example. Hopefully there's no barbarian camp over there. Because I can't afford to give him an escort right now. Alright then, here we go, there's the settler. Yeah, this makes me feel a little bit nervous, but we need to claim that location. We could also settle somewhere around here. That might not be a terrible idea. But again, I would need an escort. It's pretty unlikely there's a camp over here. There are two city-states nearby. And that's one of the reasons I want to settle that first, because the city-states will expand their borders eventually. So I want to grab some land before that happens. Okay then, two more turns. We are almost ready. This is going to be pretty important. We need that city for ourselves. I'm not going to let him keep it. How many turns on that farm? Two more turns. The worker should lose the slave penalty pretty soon. Prisoners of war, 12 turns. Okay. So, the farm is done. And the archer is almost done. So, we can attack from here. That will do. He might ask me to declare war right now, which is fine, we'll just do it. Not exactly a problem. 
we can also use the Pathfinder from the back. We could capture his worker. Now that's a pretty good idea. With the scout. To cripple him a little bit. I can see he just started a third city. I might actually declare war right now. To grab that worker. Yeah, that will hurt his economy at least a little bit. Second worker. And there's the archer. Okay. Well, anyway, actually no, let's not declare war just yet, because then the Pathfinder will capture my settler. And that would be a bad thing. In fact, we might want to get a vulture just to act as an escort and protection for our workers. Definitely a good idea. So let's move around slightly, like so. He might still ask me to declare war. I guess I'll just do it if he does that. But if I do it right now, yeah, he moved away, good. Okay. There's Kalendar. And that will be our city location. It's four tiles away from the city-state. Right, let's declare war, shall we? First, let's pick our research. That will be mining, we kind of need that by now. The Pathfinder doesn't really threaten anything. There's no way he can move so many tiles. So our settler will be just fine. I don't think we can convince Ram to join us, but we can always ask. He declined. Alright, whatever. I tried. Venice? No. Alright, let's just do this. We will get a penalty, but I don't care. At least, not as much. Here, I will grab the worker. And we can pillage some of his tiles. Yep, might as well do that. And let's move in right away. So, we'll try to do as much damage as we can. As quickly as we can. Here you go. The worker will go south. And we got a vulture coming on the next turn. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident about taking Medina. Someone just built the statue of Zeus, but it's nobody we know. There's the vulture. I'll take shock on this guy. And let's start the city. I don't think that's the best location. The fish will be in range. We'll also have horses in range. Four tiles away from the city-state, so don't have to worry about that too much. And we'll open with a shrine. Because, again, religion. Yep. So. 55 gold to buy the citrus. As tempting as it is, I'm going to pass. We might need the gold. You can work on the cow or on the truffles. Let's work on the cow. Although, we are actually at minus one happiness. Connecting the truffles first would be a better idea. Anyway, Medina. Let's do some damage, shall we? And pillage this. We will probably need that second archer. Alright, that's fine. No problem. Yes, I'm sure I want to attack. We'll get some nice experience out of this. Yeah, that city should be pretty easy to take. I don't think we'll have any major problems with that. And let's escort that worker. Here you go. We can also attack with the scout. I mean, he's technically stronger than our vultures. He has base 10 combat street. Which is pretty funny. Alright, what was that wonder? Pyramids. Okay. So, shock 2. Since we already have shock 1. And let's move out of the way here, because we need an Iron Archer in. Okay, that works. It's down to yellow already. It should go down pretty quickly. Where did that Pathfinder go? We don't quite know, I guess. As for our city... Yeah, I'm thinking Council, or we could get started on Ziggurat. We want the Ziggurat ASAP. So even though this will take 19 turns, Let's get started. Sounds good to me. Next. 
Come on. Surely this is gonna be too hard. Swap these. Can we take it down to red? Maybe not yet. Let's just fortify and do one turn of healing. 15 turns, but we lost prisoner of war in 7. So this should be a little bit faster than the tooltip indicates. We got the citrus, so there was no need to buy it. Here, I'll take the hammer. Any religions founded? Not yet. Five are still available. We definitely won't get the first one. But we should be able to get one. We just need the ziggurats. Okay, he's actually attacking the archer, that's fine. We killed his archer. I think it's going to be ours on the next turn. Yeah, it's ours right now, nice one. So I suppose I could raise it and build my own city, but I think it's best if we capture it. He has a market inside. Yeah, I'm going to annex. And now we can kill some of his units to get fate and culture. As for research, let's get bronze working to reveal Aaron. We need to know where Aaron is. Monument first, I think. Actually, no, shrine first still. Sounds good to me. Carry on then. So, do people hate us? Yeah, a little bit. Me, a warmonger? Never. Why would anyone ever think that? I don't know, man. We are peaceful people. It was a defensive war, that's all it was. Here's another promotion. Yeah, survivalism too, that would be nice. And let's go explore some more. Shock to. And let's heal up. Then we can go harass his capital a little bit. And the drill free. That's pretty nice. Shock free. We got some really nice experience out of this. Barrage. And barrage too. Here you go. And the trailblazer. No, survivalism free. Or we can take medic. Actually, medic will be way more useful. If we are going to use the scout in combat, which we will. Okay, then medic it is then. And let's keep at least one vulture around our capital. Just in case. And I guess we might as well keep this worker here. Yep. Sounds good to me. One more promotion. Barrage 1. Barrage 2. Next. Minus 5 happiness. Well, we are working on it. It will take a little bit of time. Another worker is almost ready. Then we can work on the citrus. I guess that's what we'll be doing. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.